HMC connects you to experts about crop protection and agronomic insights. Join Jake Turner for another conversation sure to be worth your time. Can you talk about some of the most pressing pest challenges that rhinoxapyr and siazapyr based products are tackling for growers in the specialty and row crop markets? So, uh, Jake, when we think about the, uh, the the pests, there's a lot of pests, you know, across, as you said, the row crop and the specialty markets. You know, I think we've got uh, uh, diamondback moth, for example, is a, a, a pest that I just had a recent conversation with a customer on. Um, you know, it's estimated that that pest alone causes four to five billion dollars worth of uh, economic losses worldwide every year. So. Um, obviously, there's a lot of dollars there, and that for us is even a smaller pest than some of the other major ones, uh, like navel orange worm in almonds, for example, or coddling moth in apples, where there's no tolerance for damage that those pests cause. If we move down in the south, where you know cotton is king, uh, it's about bollworms. Um, we talk about uh, corn and, and soybeans. We've got uh, grasshoppers that can be an opportunistic pest. Uh, there's years where we've seen grasshoppers come in and just decimate crops and they reach for the diamides first because they know that uh, they're going to provide the value needed to uh, to take care of the uh, damage inflicted by those pests be sure to tune into the next chapter to learn more about the diamide class of chemistry from fmc till next time keep it on the upside